some of you stuntin' tough When your best is not enough and everything's looking rough You gotta push past and fast, ain't no stopping when it built like us hey. So catch your buzz, it goes along with those that shine bright Through sweat and blood, I pave the road that glows the limelight And rhyme tied and fight for whatever's necessary Not temporary, we varied and bested very rarely No time to be sedentary, everything else is secondary Success and nothing less is what I expect till I'm dead and buried Nearly clearing the ceiling, what if it's the crowd is cheering? Never weary or fearing as we chase our adversary Facing greatness is standing right here in front of you So listen closely, I'ma tell you what you gonna do in the limelight Fun one tonight, Doc. I just cannot wait. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PCW off the chain. And you know, this is going to be on YouTube also. We're bringing in a new commentator, Buck James, over to the table. So if you need me to do the job, to welcome you to PCW Limelight. to slap yourself. Just watch Limelight on YouTube. Oh God, here we go again. Your big loud thing. what he pays time for. Answers as to what happened at proof of concept. Jason, Jason Xavier's actions were just deplorable. Why would he turn on his best friend like that? There's absolutely no reason for him to do that, yet he smashed a glass plate on his best friend's face. 
and screwed him out of the PCW Prospect Championship. Everybody here and YouTube land want to know why. Why would Jason and Jason do that? Hopefully we're going to get some answers now. Exactly what it looks like. 200 pounds, paperweight, that's holding me back 
for reaching my true potential. We could have attacked Jax, but no, he let his ego and his arrogance get in the way. Which is also why he's not holding his prospect championship. Because he thought he could get in the, in the match, wrestling like five people of the resistance, and what happened? He got his ass kicked and he lost. Rusty, Rusty. This isn't good. We got Illumina out here, and we got a fight going on. And it looks like he's gonna take him down. Doc is just standing there enjoying this, but two best friends are imploding right before our eyes. Hey, Bob, I hope you're calling this action on the Just focus on the ring, Doc. And Illuminate gets pulled over the top rope. Jason Xavier measuring him up, drives on Illuminate, but gets caught! Oh, into a fireman's carry. This is not good as they're on the floor. And Xavier just barely gets away from him, and they're still fighting on the outside. Oh, my. They're out of my view, ladies and gentlemen. And Doc, oh, you're sick. It's exalting. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Discover new worlds of fun at Ozone Entertainment in Orville. Oh, exactly. Check out the arcade. Take a break from everything and chill in the sensory room. Try out the VR escape room, jelly ball, or play air hockey, pool, and more. Yeah. And don't forget axe throwing. Five five Everybody wins at Ozone Entertainment in Orville. RC and Dawn get their debut album Slept On, featuring the hits Funk With Us and O oh Too Thick. Check them out on iTunes and Spotify. RC and Dawn.
Mickey Dinkin. How are you doing today? I'm good, Cass. How are you today? I'm doing great. I have a question for you. How do you feel about coming back for your second match after four years? Well, that's a good question, and I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. So, last week at the Salmon Festival, I went up against Manny Roa. Mm -hmm. Came up a little bit short, but tonight's a different statement, and I'm going to prove why Dickie Dakin belongs here at PCW, whether it's against Dreamy Drew, Manny Roa, or Rayshon Prince. Yeah. I'm going to make a statement tonight why I belong here. Okay. Are you happy with yourself, Doc? Are you happy that you got to do all that and embarrass Illuminate like that? Em embarrass? No, let's talk about Jason Xavier trying to em embarrass me. He clearly does not watch the limelight and has listened to... Oh, hang on, there's that. Well, the temperature just got hotter in here. Introducing first, from your wives, what is strange? Weighing at 250 pounds, God's gift, Dreamy Drew! Oh my God, this is disgusting. I Too cannot sexy stand. for you to for sure. You're gonna have to blur this stuff out. No, we, no, we are not. This is Halton Family Entertainment. This is this is rich masculinity on display here with Dreamy Drew. But that's what I'm saying. Jason Xavier must be listening to rumors. I've never said anything bad about him. He needs to go back and watch the product. I'm as big on him as I am on Dreamy Drew. This man just oozes machismo and sexuality. I take a, I take a lot of my moves from this man. Hi, I'm Cass Hollis, and I'm here with Dreamy Drew. Hi, Dreamy Drew. How do you feel about your opponent tonight, Dickie Dinkin? How do I feel? Oh, you're a big step up from that loser, Zach. Oh, it shouldn't even be me and Dickie. It should be me and you. And how do you feel about your opponent tonight, Dickie Dinkin? That loser, he doesn't know nothing. It's going to be an easy sweep. But then it's just going to be me and you, baby. Just us. That's all right, baby. I'm too good for you anyway. Yeah, you can take a lot of moves off of him, but he's coming off a loss from the Santa Festival. He's faced off against Ethan Reno. Oh, yeah, with the up in a schoolboy. With the help win. of Zach Reeb. Zach Reeb pushed Dreamy Drew over. After Ethan Reeb Drew put his hands on Zach Reeb, who was an official in that match, Doc. Well, Reeb. then he should just find Dreamy Drew. Officials nowhere in the rule book does it say it's cool for a ref to put his hands on an, on a, a competitor. But it's always okay to defend yourself, Doc. Not PCW. And his opponents, weighing in at 210 pounds, Dickie! Dakin coming off of a strong PCW title shot at the Salmon Festival. It sounds like he's got a lot of fans in the crowd, but even though it was in a losing effort, he did put up one hell of a fight, and he's going to look to build momentum here tonight and maybe get back into that PCW uh, division for another title shot to near he, he didn't even deserve that shot in the first place. He only got in because he's part of this cult of Zach Reed that gets shown favoritism that's just oozing with nepotism. I mean, there are rumors that this young man might be the illegitimate child of Zach Reed. You heard Manny Rowe at the Salmon Festival, and this young man has been around Zach Reed's heels since he was in diapers. And even if that's true, Doc, there's no denying that he's definitely put the work in at TG Primetime University to get back into ring shape and get back into fighting other wrestlers. Well, yeah, definitely, but he doesn't deserve any championship slots until he moves his way up the ranks. And this is what he gets to do here against a supreme athlete like Dreamy Drew. And it looks like Dreamy Drew's gonna try to start this match off early, but Dickie's not gonna have it. They're gonna tie up now. 
pushing back and forth, but nothing happened. Oh, Drew the... just wants to stand there and rub his own nipple. Hey, and I'm sure you love that dog. I, I don't love that, but if you look at the ladies in the audience, they are positively drooling over the dreamy one. Could be drooling, maybe not over Dreamy Drew, but because they're just so disgusted, and so they have to shut their minds off. Yeah. Dude, you're just grasping at straws there. Look at that sexiness. Too sexy for YouTube, almost. And then nice arm drag is going to bring Dreamy Drew down. It didn't look like he was expecting that. And another arm drag by Kick the Dakin. And Dreamy Drew is going to get out of the ring and try to reset. A smart idea. Reset, Rick, Dickie, Dakin, play your strategy. And I gotta say, I, I feel ridiculous saying this man's name, Dickie Dakin. He sounds like one of the little rascals. Oh, we got Alfalfa, Spanky, Stymie, and Dickie Dakin. Oh, and that's... Huh, you know what? Even Speaking though... Of Dickie Dakin. Even though Dickie's been in the business a long time, and he's had a long time away, He's still got to get that ring rust off of him and watch those veteran moves, just as we saw here. Yeah, he got him right in the dicky dink in, and now he's laying in those shots to the forehead. Chico Lopez admonishing him, making sure he's not using a closed fist, which is legal in wrestling. Dicky ducks the floor and gets some nice chops in on Dreamy Drill. It could be taking the wind out of him. He goes for a charge in the corner, misses. Dreamy Drew, break to the eyes. No, he's wiping the sweat out of his face. He saw that Dickie Dakin was sweating profusely, gets it out of his eyes. He's helping him. He's Dreamy Drew's trying to get Dreamy guy. Drew's own sweat out of Dickie Dakin's eyes. Nice big boot to stop Dreamy Drew in his track. Dickie Dakin off the rope. Close line and brings Dickie down. Drew's really got to take advantage of this, and he goes for the pet one, and only a one count. Dreamy Drew out there working hard for the plebs. He's going to have to leave some in the tank for some of the ring rats out here. Some lowly, some lowly welfare mobs. Uh, you can get him off the ropes. Can't be choking him on the rope stock. Uh, you used the ring, as, and he didn't have it under his throat. His chin was on the road. Look at the camera. That's right, angle. because you breathe through your chin. Now. Yes. And a nice splash to the corner. Dreamy Drew, belly to belly, and brings Dickie down. Goes for the pin. One. Only a, another one count. Dickie Dakin is not going to be giving up that easily. One, two, and that time for a two count. And Dickie Dakin trying to fight back on Dreamy Drew, even though Dreamy Drew is trying to bring up Dickie to his feet. And a nice forearm club to the back. Puts Dickie in the corner again, and he's really got to get out of that corner, Doc. Drew in control. Showing the veteran status he's achieved here in PCW and in California and Nevada. And here we go again with the chop, trying to push all that air out of his lungs. A nice splash, goes for a big hold on on Dreamy Drew and he brings him down. Dicky really needs to get a cover on there. Trying to, trying to channel his his possible daddy prime time and getting the crowd behind him. Finally goes for a hit. One. Two, and he kicks out at two. I gotta say, Dickie took way too long to try to cover him that time. He really needs to jump on him and try to get an early win here. Well, yeah, and you can see where the lack of conditioning in the ring rust plays in. Oh, power slam, and he goes for the pin. One, two, and a 2.9 kick out. Wow, shut my mouth. That was amazing explosive power from Dickie Dakin. Dreamy Drew just barely kicking out of that, and it looks like Dickie wants to do this one more time. He thinks that he can put him away with one more power slam, so that's just what he's going to do. 
and he's gonna throw Dickie off the rope. Or oh. Dreamer off the rope. He blocks it. Drew had it scouted. The schoolboy to Dickie. One, two, and he's got his feet on the rope. Chico caught it. I'm, I'm sure Drew was just thought it was on the apron and was a little disorientated. It happens in the heat of the go, Another schoolboy. One, two, three, and Dickie does it. Just like at the Sam Festival. And the Listen, another lucky win by Dickie Jacob. Dreamy Drew, he, he must have caught the eye of one of these gals in the front row or maybe the back row. Saw a gal without a teeth and saw an opportunity. Dreamy Drew is losing a lot of steam here on PCW. That's the second loss in a row. I mean, how is he going to pick up after this? How is he going to rebound? And Dickie, on the other hand, he redeems himself from the Salmon Festival, from his PCW title wow, I and he's on the right track once again. Back. I wouldn't say redeemed himself, but he definitely won a match. Dreamy Drew's going to have to console himself with one of these gals, maybe two of these gals, maybe four. I don't know. He's a man with, with big appetites. Folks, we'll be back after this. Good afternoon, PCW faithful. I know you have come looking for champions, but sadly, you will not find any, except for me, Goldschlager, the champion of graphic design, and my henchman, the Jägermeister. That's right, I make amazing belts, match graphics, tickets, and everything you need for your event, be it wrestling or otherwise. I am Goldschlager, and I make art. <laughs> oh, Scheiße, what are you two Scheiße. doing here? That's a piece of art? Yeah, I should be in a museum. <laughs> this it's my belt. This is trash. No! Nine! Exactly. The creator of our brand new PC Bio Championship belt. He is Steven West Ghost. This is West Ghost design right here. This belt is absolute top notch, top quality with the snakes in the back. Little monster in the back. And you need to go over to West Ghost Designs. Look at this. Look at this. Look how freaking cool that looks. The wrestling world knows that West Coast Design is your one-stop shop for t-shirt design, belt design, stickers, match graphics, flyers, and more West Coast Design. Hey, Jesse, let's see who's going against West Coast. No, no, I... Dr. Haywood! And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for West Coast Designs. You can find West Coast Design on Twitter and Instagram at West Coast Design or on ProWrestlingTees.com backslash Spooky Apparel. West Coast, I'll get you! $50,000 on a graphic design degree at Chico State! Folks, Dr. Haywood here with Paul Smith of the Travel Smiths. They are the diamond standard of travel, and whenever Dr. Haywood travels, I use Travel Smiths to go to the most exotic locations, all inclusive resorts. They can book family vacations, destination weddings, honeymoons, cruises, and more all over the world. Live the easy life like Dr. Haywood. Travel with family, travel with Travel Smiths. Call Travel Smiths. Call Dr. Haywood. By the way, He's your emergency call. Have a great time and have a great day.
I'm Zach Primetime Reeb. You know what time it is, and you're watching PCW Limelight. Ladies and gentlemen, Buck James here, and I have some breaking news that could shake the foundations of PCW. Christian Sky here has been petitioning. The all right, all right, enough, nerd, enough, nerd. Those are my belts. Zach Reeb, you didn't pin me. I was the legal man, oh, which oh, means oh, that these up, titles hold up, hold up, are hold coming up, hold back up, hold to. Hold up, hold up. Your petition did go through. I know. That's but why because, we're here, baby. Let's but go. But because your partner is no longer employed in PCW, these titles are oh hereby God. vacated. Which means... No, those are my titles. You don't get the titles. Who gets the titles? Those are my titles. They are vacated. You gotta be kidding me. Give me that book. Give me the hey, 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 come on. Get your come hands on. off of them. This is Manny! Manny! He almost got one for me. You good? I'm, I'm fine. All right. Fine. Back to you guys. What a handsome devil that man was. Oh, come on. That was a travesty. Justice well served. Uh, uh, Even uh, though it is a travesty, that prime time personified was stripped of the titles. No, no. They pinned the wrong guy. They pinned the wrong guy. And, and by hook and by crook, they got with Bussy E.T. out of this company. We'll talk about that later now because the star of the horror nerd production goes the PCW first ever prospects champion, a man up for a, an award for his acting, and my personal friend, the global phenomenon, Joshua Myron McKinney, is going to be in action defending his title. And I, and I gotta ask you, Doc, because he's your friend and everything, is it because he's, he's paid to get on one of his little movies? No, 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 listen, listen. For, Just first because you pay for an experience doesn't make you I, I didn't, your best friend. Or I didn't like pay that. for any experience, and you're dropping spoilers for stuff that I haven't announced yet to the pledge. We're here to talk about JMN's movie, not me, and my rising stardom. Look at this disrespectful well, little stuff. Some of the fans have just had enough of Yeah, a kid needs to sit his ass down and leave a star alone. This man is on the rise. Folks, there is no one I would allow my next guest to be interviewed by other than myself. That is how prestigious he is. The first ever Prospects Champion, the global phenomenon, my friend JMM. JMM, so good of you to grace our presence with Hollywood calling all the time, your starring role in Ghost. And my understanding is you are up for an award for your role in Ghost. Yes, I mean, indeed, that's I how am. great you are. And tonight, you have a match against Caden Adams. We talked about this a bit at the premiere of Ghost, but enlighten the plebs how you are feeling about young Mr. Adams. Well, you know, it is my first title defense, and, you know, Caden has beat me twice and, and taken out my security, and quite frankly, I'm just trying to figure out how to celebrate right after I win because that guy has nothing on me! I am JMM, the global phenomenon! Do you not understand this? I am the first one and the only one. And I will make sure that continues and you are the first little stepping stone on the way to that massive legacy. Doc Haywood, it's been a pleasure, but I have some planning to do. I'll oh, see you later. I'm sure you do. What an amazing actor. He had even me going. What an incredible performance. Folks, we're going to take it back down to ringside. I, I tell you what, you, you guys, you always punch upwards because you got nowhere else to punch. So you take shots at people like me, people like JMS, people who are real successes in life. Not just in the wrestling world, but outside the wrestling world. I'm successful with everything I touch. Oh. 
come up and get our autographs already. I tell the you what, I was just watching this man prance around. I just kind of piss people off just because he gets a kick out of it. Leo Inter needs to do his job with this little plebeian running around here. He's out here to hopefully claim the, the PCW Prospect Championship. And so far, he is Ken and beats JM twice. And he's looking to extend that streak to three. Can he do it tonight? I am actually confident that Caden can do this with his eyes closed. Doc, I know you're left speechless right now because Caden. I, I'm pretty sure he's got this in the bag, Doc. Uh. J&M just looking unimpressed with Davis and his athleticism so far. The fans know who they want to win, and J&M is just not having any of it. Oh, he doesn't have to put up with this. He's a star. Achieved. They will never achieve the heights that I have achieved. And that's why they're always trying to tear us down. We should be the heroes of the food stamp crowd. And that beautiful PCW Prospects Championship. The symbol of the hottest young wrestler in Northern California. And that is currently JMN. Caden looking pretty confident out there, even though they haven't even started. I realize that, but I know he's brimming just with confidence. As he should. JMN's on a hot streak. Nice little swing. Swing again, through to the dead by, by Caden. Caden in with a nice reversal. Off the ropes, tries to big move, gets thrown around. Drop kick by Caden, and he brings down Caden in. Within the opening seconds of this contest, Doc. Well, Caden Adam definitely gonna bring his A game, and he pulling that big spear from Caden. Brings down JMM again, and he's gonna get out of the ring. Maybe catch his breath. Showing some stuff he has not shown in PCW so far. I mean, I've watched the tapes of this young man with JML. Oh, and a big fly over the top. Big launcher brings down both competitors. But it looks like Keaton Adams is right back up. He's all fired up tonight. He is pulling out all the stops, but he's got to against a competitor like JMM. JMM clearly surprised the ferocity. Two, a kick out barely at two.
Hayden looked like he had him down for the count, but wasn't too surprised that he kicked out, but he knows he's going to have to give up a lot more punishment to JMF to keep him down. Yeah, very early on, and, and really, he's not going to win against JMF. I mean, this is a this is an exhibition match at best. Oh, oh DDT into the corner brings Hayden down, and it looks like he hit the top of his head. That's a scary thing. If he comes out of this with a concussion, possibly. yep, those are those are just leather pads over attention. Not JMM smart strategy using that against Kate. And Kate's really got to try to shake his cobwebs out because if he doesn't, JMM is going to smell the blood in the water and he's going to attack hard. Oh, he has already smelled the blood in the water. He's, he's had it out for this young man since he eliminated him in the whole line. Since he eliminated him in the last man standing rumble, playing spoiler to JMM's hopes and a shot at the PCW Championship. Official help of Pereira counting the two counts so far. And JMM almost just not taking Caden seriously now that no. he's on the offensive. He's taking him seriously. This is a slow and steady pace. Didn't you hear about the tortoise in the hair? Oh, I heard about it. And I'm hearing those chops from Caden Adams. JMM ducks the clothesline, gets it in reverse, and tries to connect with her. Gets pushed off the rope, and a big He's going for the cover. One, two, and almost a three count. Maybe a 2.5 on that one. Caden cannot believe it. Let, let, let JMM is fine. He's doing great. He, he's got this in the bag. He's, he's, he's lulling this man into a false sense of, well, some agility. Oh, into an atomic drop. Like I said. That's going to stop Caden dead in his tracks. A false sense of security, like I said. Russian Lake Sweep brings Caden down. And that, that should do it right. Only a two count. JMM looking increasingly frustrated. But then again, I believe that's just his default face. No, no, he's acting. He's an actor, and so he's acting for the plant. Add a little drama to it so that the folks get the ticket value. Caden not giving up, pulling himself up by the ropes, but his head's still got to be killing him. He's, he's, he's trying to, looks like trying to walk into full Nelson, but Kate's trying to get the reversal. And he backs him into a corner for a second time, trying to break that hole. Judo throws him over his shoulder, big boot to JMM's face. And JMM almost looks a little dazed, he doesn't know where he's at. And a big move by Caden, but does he have the strength to cover him? But it looks like JMM is do unfortunately doing the right thing, rolling out of the ring so he can collect himself and not lose that Prospects Championship. Because Doc, I know, we know, everybody knows that you can't lose the title on the floor. That's right, you can't lose it on a count out or a disqualification. JMM taking the champion's advantage. And really, it's moves like that that help people retain championships. And there's a big strike from JMM on the outside. Caden's got to get him back in the ring if he wants any shot at dethroning the Prospects champion. But it looks like JMM's going back on the offensive. And JMM throwing him against the side of the ring. Oh, that's going to leave one hell of a bruise on his back. JMM was looking at Caden the way a butcher looks at a piece of meat, trying to see what part he's going to carve up next. JMM looks like he's getting his strength back. And he's wiping the, the, the frustrated look off of his face. And he's going to try to get Caden back into the ring. Hopefully, which it looks like he did. We're up to a five count. And JMM just has nowhere in the world at the moment. Well, and he shouldn't. 
he can sit out here and he can take the loss, but he's going to show he's a fighting champion and going to get in the ring. And he's going to do it at his own pace. And you know what? I have no problem giving dues what they're due, Doc, because JMN is a very smart competitor. Absolutely. Caden Adams, though, learning that the hard way. He ought to be begging for mercy. And here we go. We got double underhook. What's he going to do here? Looking for that pedigree. Oh, big pedigree to Caden Adams. And he's not moving after that. JMM rolling him over, going for the pin. One, two. And Caden barely kicks out at two. Oh, and off again. JMM cannot believe it, Doc. I can't believe it. That should have put Caden Adams out for good. Frustration turning to anger. JMM doesn't know what to do at this point. He believes that the pedigree should have taken him out. It should have. It should have. Definitely should have. It's got to be muscle memory, pure instinct on the part of Caden Adams to be able to kick out from that. The championship on the line. And, and a oh. super kick by Caden Adams brings JMM down slowly. But does Caden have any strength to roll him over for the cover? He Neither of them are moving at the moment, Doc. J JMM's going to get up. He's got to. <laughs> Referee Helder Pereira up to a two count. Both competitors are fighting and trying to get up because JMM knows if he doesn't get up, he could possibly be pinned. If Hayden doesn't get up, he could possibly be pinned. But it looks like both are going to be using the reps to get to their feet. And we are back to square one. Big clothesline by Kate Adams. And another back elbow brings JMM down. Ducks. He wouldn't punish me like that. But he's got a plan. It looks like he's going to go to the high rent district. He's going to put him oh. in the way. He knows he's on the rope stock. This is a big mistake. You go up here. You get a high risk. You get a high reward. But the risk hey, is high for a reason. A cross body. And he goes to the pin. One, two, and a kick out. Two points. Keep up this pace. Damn One more big move and he's going to be down. <laughs> Damn, I'm just hit drunk. He just wants to make sure I get my money's worth. That's why he's fine. He's fine, I tell you, damn it. He doesn't look fine. That frustration looked to, dip, looked to turn to just dazed. Caden, he could still have the cobwebs up in his, up in his head. But it looks like he's going to try to put JMM away here. JMM fighting out of it. Oh, he breaks a no. right on his head. His possibly concussed head. We don't know at the moment. But Caden isn't moving. JMM goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out at 2.9. Caden's not going to give up that easily. JMM doesn't know what to do at this point. Folks, we are only halfway through this show. Buck James has almost lost his voice. My heart is in my throat. JMM is putting on the fight of his life, and God help me so, it's Caden Adams. Both of these competitors are going to give it their all, and the one who wants it the most is definitely going to walk out of here, Prospects Champion. Currently, Caden Adams is not moving. JMM really needs to get on Caden if he wants to end this match. This crowd needs to shut up. They're booing the champion. They're booing and a what's moving star. Oh, JMM, man, no, no. Hayden jumping up after him. Hitting him in the oh, face. Oh, no. Oh, no. it looks like he's going for a superplex. This could be big. Oh, my God. Big stand. Big superplex. It took out both competitors. But can Caden Adams but he, come up again? This is superhuman, Doc. He's going for another superplex. And both are down. Caden. Goes for the cover. One, two, no, 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 look. No, 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 no,
Cody Ferreira, he's going to Zack Bay right now. I don't know what they're talking about, but it can't be good. Please. Hey, has no idea what's going on right now. Please, I've been good all year, Santa. Superman, whoever's up there, please. on his face, but he knows that there's nothing he can do at this point. And a low blow by JMM! The referee didn't see it! That brings J Caden Adams down to the mat! I, I, I couldn't tell what you're referring to. Helder Pereira was in the way. Looks like... Oh, it, no way. JMM taking complete advantage of this situation. And he's out! And Helder Pereira calls this off. Percent robbed. No, he wasn't robbed. Take it easy, and if it's easy, take it twice. Ridiculous. Drop an elbow on that subscribe, and hey, leave us a comment.